All right, we got about a minute left on our, our boil here. Brewmaster Sarah over there. Hi. All right, so we'll take a look in the, our kettle here. We got about a minute left. A little bit of froth on the top. Um, left it for about, what, like maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. And um, the froth did build up a little bit. Not, and nowhere near a boil over because if you have the right size pot, you do have a little bit of a uh, little wiggle room. Good, good word. Um, but you don't want to leave this thing. I wouldn't. I would not look at this. I'd say like three minutes max, mm -hmm. just in case. Um, especially if you're working on propane or gas, just because it'll go. That's so much stronger than electric. Um, Actually, the electric's kind of nice. The electric's nice because it's easy to control and it's nice and even. Um, I mean, we've never used gas or propane, obviously, with this being the first one, but just everything I've just cooking like. Uh, even just like grilling or you know making anything on propane or gas I think it just seems to be stronger if you're just used to cooking with it uh, than electric is but electric is a little more spread out and there's our there's our boil time is up so we'll just turn off the heat and actually we're gonna move this over to the sink in just a second where we're gonna give the pot just a minute to kind of cool off just Mostly, selfishly, you don't want the pot to kind of hit the cold water and then, if you ever saw, what was it, Aliens 2 or 3, where they dunk the alien and the, lipid, and the liquid lead and it lives through it and then it climbs out and it's coming to get him and they put the cold bath on and the alien explodes. Yeah, yeah. we don't need any I don't want, a, don't want an explosion of our, uh, of our work. And or aliens. Stuff. Or me. aliens. No, don't want either one. But... We'll just let that cool for a second. We'll go over here. We have our uh, our uh, star sands uh, sanitizer stuff. Let's we'll make sure we're on the right. Have our star sand sanitizer stuff right here. Um, we got a second fermenting bucket down here, just basically because we're gonna uh, sanitize our uh, siphoning tubes and uh, all this stuff here in just uh, just a second here. But we just want to. As we've, as we've seen on almost everything we've seen when it comes to home brewing sanitation is the uh, most important part of this whole deal. So we'll let, uh, we'll, put, we'll put this over here in the bath. And we'll get this started. Oh, one thing, we'll just get this thing started here before we turn the video off. Um, one thing I was a little nervous of um, getting into this at least was the siphoning part because I didn't mm -hmm. siphon anything before. Uh, the one in Northern Brewer Sinja is effing awesome because what you do you just take this little sucker push like this and uh just make sure it's in your bucket because it's gonna work and uh yeah we're siphoning right now it's uh goes really quick as you can see uh, and maybe you can't see but by the mess on the floor it works the first time every time so we'll get that cleaned up we'll move the word over into the ice bath and then we'll bring you guys and we'll start another video here <laughs> 